What's up, beautiful people, and welcome to another episode of Don't Keep Up With, Don't Keep, Don't Keep Up With The Joneses. Don't, don't keep up with the, don't keep up with the Joneses. Don't keep up with, don't keep, don't keep up with the Joneses. Don't, don't keep up with the, don't keep up with the Joneses. What's up, beautiful people, and welcome to another episode of um, don't keep up with the Joneses! It's your boy Ricky Jones here and I am back for another palette and garden video. And in this video, I will talk to you about three particular types of fertilizers that I use in both my raised beds and my five gallon bucket containers. And then I'm gonna talk about two forms of uh, poop, crap, or substance like it that is also great fertilizers as well for your garden, okay? So let's get into it, yeah! <sighs> All right, so with the set of my face, I wanna talk about the first one and that is Epsom salt. Yes. Ladies and gentlemen, Epsom salt is not just good for your body to get your muscles nice and recharged and relaxed and soothed and things like that in a tub, but it's also beneficial and great for your plants as well. With Epsom salt, it is made out of both sulfur and magnesium, which are power builders for your plants, okay? This is great for like such things as tomatoes, peppers, roses, even because it helps with blooming of the flowers, the green of the leaves and things like that, okay? So it is something that you want to have now with the magnesium it helps with the plants to helps it you know give it the nitrogen that it needs but also helps with the phosphorus which uh you know then helps with chlorophyll which then helps to get the plants the nutrients and things that it needs for growth okay so this is why epsom salt is nice and handy and dandy and necessary for a fertilizer now as you can see i have like this one from walmart however if you're not going out and things like that right now you can get it from amazon which i will put links below for all of these different fertilizers that I will be talking about in this video. But I had to start off with good old, good old Epsom salt, okay? Because, again, it's not just for your body. It's also for your plants. Let's go to the second one. All right, and for the second one, I want to talk about my friend, Sustain. Now, as y'all know, if you watch my videos, you have seen me use this product oh so many times when not only putting uh, transplants into the ground, but also putting seeds in the ground or just for fertilizing the soil and things like that. Now, the benefits of this, now, if you know how to read fertilizer bags, you see the number 464, okay? And starting from this one over to the other one, the first four stands for nitrogen, four parts nitrogen. The second one is potassium, right? And so, you no, no, it's phosphorus, phosphorus. <laughs> and then the last one is potassium. So four part nitrogen, six parts phosphorus, and the other four part potassium. Now the beneficial properties of the three is that the fourth, first one, four part nitrogen is great for the greening of your leaves and things like that to give it its nice green colors okay you can also use things like this in a lawn and then you have your six part phosphorus which is great for root growth okay now that is why I use it when I seed my seedlings or even when I put seeds into the seed tray starter okay because it helps to build nice strong beneficial roots for nice growth in your plants and herbs and vegetables and roses and flowers and things like that okay and then you have your potassium potassium is great because this will allow for it to grow okay it being whatever it is that you plant right which is what i was just naming all those different things you can plant but it will help in growth of those plants okay so getting all these things together <laughs> you made for a wonderful wonderful marriage okay and then i love this one because it does have some composting properties as well which will help in your whole overall garden bed garden area whatever it is you're gardening with or in it will help to promote great growth of your soil and things like that okay so you got to get this i'm telling y'all this is magnificent okay it's slow releasing and things like that so it will last throughout your gardening season when you sprinkle it down you are good to go knowing that you are not messing up anything okay and when i say that i mean it's organic i'm talking about all organic fertilizers okay i don't try not to use like i've used miracle grow once okay okay don't hurt me but at the end of the day i try not to use anything other than organic products to help fertilize grow my vegetables and plants and my friends you can do it too okay you see what i've done so far and i'm telling you you can do it too get you some sustain again a link below now let's go to number three okay and for the third one we have some sea mineral salt 
In other words, sea salt, okay? This is what we have. I picked this off of Amazon. A link will be below, as I've said before. My other last, this is good just as the Epsom salt is because this one is great because it has not only just magnesium, not only iron and calcium and things like that, potassium, um, but it has other minerals, minerals as well, okay? Because they say, I mean, I wasn't there when they did it, but it said when they go to harvest this, go and pick this, go and retrieve it, it's done at the bottom of the seabed okay so obviously there's so many other microorganisms and other beneficial nutrients that are scooped up as well to put in this bag which i then put in the garden okay and as i said for the epsom salt it has those same beneficial properties however this one is great because it has others and it is slow releasing now i would like to make note that it is necessary that you put a reasonable amount and you're saying ricky what is a reasonable amount okay this is not a cooking show don't y'all hate it when like cooks be like put a dash of this or a pinch of that or just a little bit or just until you feel like it's enough like what what does that mean not any measurements is that one teaspoon or two is that a cup or an ounce let me know but anyway with this you do get some instructions on a bat that lets you know how much to actually put in the area in which you are guarding so they will not lead you astray but at the end of the day at the end of the day you don't just want to go out here and throw out a lot because we do know salt can kill plants okay yes your herbs your flowers your vegetables can die if you put too much of this in your area okay so make sure you follow the instructions make sure you follow the bag and when in doubt don't put a lot okay yeah, I did what the other cooks and things do, but I feel like, as they probably feel like, you know what a lot would be. But anyway, follow what's on the bag, and I promise you, you will not go astray. All right, so we have Epsom salt, we have sustain, and we have some sea mineral salt. Now, let's get to the poop. I never thought I'd be out here buying poop, y'all, but I find it to be beneficial. Let's go to number four. All right, legitimate. So now we have our number four fertilizer that I use in my garden. It is the fish fertilizer, fish emotion, like whatever people call it. Like, here it is, guys poop in a bottle at the end of the day it's fish poop okay i never thought that i would be buying fish poop but when you start gardening you do things that you didn't expect that you would do and this is what this looks like now as you see the numbers boom 511 if you do recall five stands for how many parts nitrogen one is phosphorus and the other one is for potassium okay so with this being strong in nitrogen that lets you know ladies and gentlemen it would be good and beneficial for your leafy vegetables for your leafy flowers and things like that as far as herbs okay make sure you pour it around and make sure with this there is measurements as well that you want to put into your area in which you are gardening don't overdo it don't just squirt this bottle onto your things okay first it'll smell ridiculous because who would have thought fish poop stinks like anyway 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 it really does you'll see when you open this cap when you buy it yourself you will see for yourself it is not what you want to uh, just have around like it's it's not a it's not a pleasant smell. But at the end of the day, it is beneficial for your flowers and your things and <laughs> your vegetables. Y'all, I'm having fun. I hope you are too. But I hope you're learning as well, okay? This is something that you want. This is something that you need. And you can do it monthly, okay? Sometimes they say do it every three months. But as it says on a bottle, let me zoom in, for organic Okay, gardening, great for all indoor. I wouldn't do no indoors. Won't burn, okay? That's the key part. It will not burn your things because that's the problem with synthetic or non-organic products and fertilizers. You can put too much and damage your products. However, with organic, you can put within reason okay salt is a whole nother story but you can put within reason the amount that you feel is necessary and you won't burn your products because it's organic it's from the earth it's from the ground it's all around okay so it'll be good to go now this is something that you want to add to your repertoire to grow your leafy greens and things like that okay so make sure you get it for all my people who use it go ahead and smash that like button go ahead comment below and let the other people know this is what you want even though it stinks is for your benefit, okay? So let's go to the last bag of poop, okay? The last fertilizer I use that I wanna share with you. <clears throat> Woo, and I'm not even gonna pick up this bag because I don't want that all around me right now, okay? And that, my friend, is my cow manure and compost bag, okay? Y'all see it, y'all have seen it in the videos, and I'm sure you've seen it in the big box stores when you're out there shopping and about because this is cow manure, ladies and gentlemen. Cow manure is great as well. Now, all the reasons why, I don't wanna look into it, but I've heard time and time again that manure 
specifically cow manure, chicken manure, horse manure as well. But I heard you gotta watch out for the horse manure because it will then like grow like hay and things like there are seeds in the manure. So better watch out. Now, what I will say is with the cow manure that I have, you do not want to allow as best as possible for the manure to be at the top, okay? Because I've had the manure to rest at the top and then I've had like mushrooms and things grow because I mean, it is manure. There are some different things in it, some live organic properties that are within the manure that are still activated, okay? So as best as possible, even if that means like putting some mulch, some wood chips, some hay, some whatever, or whatnot some top soil on top of the manure when you are gardening please do that because also when it dries it's hard it's rough it's i don't know it's a lot it's a lot okay and wear gloves at the end of the day when you do use cow manure as well as the number four one the fish emulsion the fish fertilizer please wear gloves you don't want it on your hands because it's manure unless you live that life then cool Live your life. I'm not telling you what to do. I'm just telling you what I do. And therefore, I would recommend you to do. All right. So here it is. Cow manure number five for the last one that I use and recommend for you all for organic gardening, organic farming, whether it be in your backyard with raised beds or five gallon buckets. You see both in my here garden. And therefore, you see and know that I use them. Okay. And that gives you the different varieties and plants and things in which you see here and which you could do it too okay so y'all already know i'm about to fertilize everything i'm about to do it okay i'm gonna do a mixture i'm gonna do a like a i don't know i'm gonna do a mixture at the end of the day i'm gonna follow the rules with the salts but i'm gonna do a mixture with the fish fertilizer okay it's time to level up it's time to add some more it's time to let them grow before the summer comes okay because i gotta pull these greens before the summer comes so i need to make sure they're nice grown and ready for harvest and out the way because i don't want them to be all messed up and things like that but at the end of the day i hope this video was beneficial if so smash that like button hit that subscribe button because i promise you other videos such as this that'll be beneficial educational and enjoyable will come your way or in other words entertaining <laughs> couldn't think of it before but it came to me then well i love you people get your hands dirty put your hand in some dirt it'll help you then and it'll help you later when you harvest okay until next time uh, uh, uh.